Politics needs science more than ever. We're here because two historical organizations, one representing social science and one representing natural and physical sciences, are combining so that there's a unified global voice for science. Any of the global challenges that we seek to have impact on and, and help to solve cannot be solved without the very necessary involvement of the social sciences. With the birth of the ISC today, we've got a lot more international scientific unions and a lot more national academies of sciences, making this finally a truly global scientific institution, perfectly equipped to solve those problems that need scientific expertise. The members are important. They, we draw our strength, we draw our identity from them. It is in, in a unique position to integrate across the disciplines, across the different kinds of science, different organisations of science, and in doing so be more effective in talking to the global policy-making community that needs to hear far more of the voice of science. The fight against poverty in a way is like the fight against cancer. There is no cure, there is no magic bullet that is going to solve the problem, but you can make little, little progress, and this little, little progress make meaningful difference. This is a crucial time for science because we have challenges to the whole idea of truth and even honesty. In fact, there is no major benefit to humanity that humanity enjoys that has not come from science. Whether we're talking about climate change, environmental degradation, artificial intelligence in the future of work, urbanization, global pandemics, these are all questions where we need the harnessing of the capacities of both the social and the natural sciences. So the vision of the International Science Council is of science as a global public good, to be safeguarded and nurtured well, at UNESCO, we're all very excited to have now one global partner for the sciences. One takeaway thought is that together we're stronger and together we have more impact. We witness unprecedented levels of global connectivity. With this connectivity comes wonderful opportunities. So it's our job to ensure that our engagements are inclusive in every sense of the word. I would like to see an organization and an ISC that is able to really push the boundaries of the ways in which science and policy uh, engage for the benefit of society. There is a, a real spirit of excitement about what is possible for this global voice of science. <laughs>